Wow, bam. Okay, let's finish this problem. We've got a right triangle, and we're looking for an acute angle inside that triangle. Now, I've given you all the sides, 3, 4, and 5. So you can use whatever trig function you like. So we're going, to use, we're going to use some kind of trig function to find out what the angle measure is using any one of these three sides since I've given you so much information about this triangle. How about we just use a uh, tangent? So we got the tangent of theta equals opposite over uh, adjacent, which is going to be 4 thirds. And now we need to get that tangent function away from theta. Well. If I said 2 times x equals 10, you would do the inverse, multiplication, uh, inverse of multiplication, which is divide both sides by 2 and get x equals 5. If I said you had x squared equals 16, you would do the inverse function of squaring, which is square root both sides, and say x equals 4, negative 4. Well, if I want to undo the tangent function, I need to apply the inverse tangent to both sides of the equation. So I'm going to write... And this one middle line here may not be necessary for your teacher, uh, but I'm going to apply the inverse tangent function to both sides of this equation. I don't know why I'm trying to work so hard to color code it. Uh, inverse tangent of 4 thirds. And the tangent function and the inverse tangent will cancel each other out. And that's why this is sort of a teaching step. You don't necessarily have to uh, show this for just doing triangular, right triangular uh, trigonometry. But theta is going to be the inverse tangent of 4 thirds. Now again, if you want your answers to be in degrees, please make sure that you have your calculator in degree mode. And the little negative 1 does stand for an inverse function. Now, 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. 2 thirds to the negative 1 is 3 over 2. So a lot of times we see these negative exponents as just you know, flipping the base or moving uh, the base on which that negative exponent sits on. But when you talk about math functions, this is an inverse math function. Okay? What do you put into a trig function? an angle measure, and you get out, as we can see, the sides of a triangle. With an inverse trig function, you're putting in the sides of the triangle, even if it's just a decimal, like 1.3 repeating. That decimal does come from the ratio or the division of two sides of a right triangle. So the inverse tangent of 4 thirds, just type that in your calculator, second or inverse, or maybe control, tangent, look for that little negative 1 as an exponent, and type it in your calculator. If you're in degree mode, you're going to get theta is equal to 53.13 degrees. And that is how tri uh, trig function, sine, cosine, or tangent will allow you to find measures, acute, the measurements of the acute angles in a right triangle. If you have one, oh, I was going to say bam and yell out and get out of here, but if you have one acute angle, and you're totally confident that's correct, you can just subtract from 90 to find the other acute angle because inside a triangle, you only have 90 degrees. So let's see, we've got 90 minus 50 is 40, 40 minus 3 is 37, so now we have 36.87 degrees. Now I'm done. Bam! Mr. Teru, go do your homework. Thank you very much for watching and letting me help you guys out. If you're liking my videos, please spread the word. And if an ad looks, you know, interesting to you, support them, please, and help me out.